Today we are in Folkestone. This is our third time in Kent and every time we've come, our friends who are locals, Jason and Josh, they've told us, you have to visit Folkestone. You will think it's really cool. And so far it is really cool. Even just down here by the harbor where we parked, there is a old train station that they have turned into a cool pedestrian area. There's all kinds of foods and shops. There is a carousel that has very good names on their horses like Patricia. And we are just getting our day started but we, ha we have one thing on the agenda first this morning. Is that true? Did the seagulls always poop rainbows? Of course. We wandered up Creative Quarter, which is this neat street full of all kinds of independent shops. It is a pretty steep hill though. But what we're doing, we're about to earn this, this uh... Yeah, we've, we've earned it. Walking up the hill first means you can eat it guilt free. Yeah, yeah. that's the ticket. Starting our day right at the tea rooms for some cream tea. Now yesterday, you guys showed us around Hastings and we had some less than ideal cream tea. It was questionable. <laughs> this is... Oh. Spicy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is definitely an improvement. We determined yesterday that they maybe accidentally put some kind of like savory spice in it. The, the scones were a little off, but I think these are gonna be just fine. When you said to me if I wanted to feel like I was in St. Louis for a minute, I did not realize that it was because there is a miniature St. Louis arch here. Yep. <laughs> that you definitely can't go up inside. And also, yesterday when we were out and about, uh, Jason and Josh took us on a very British day exploring Hastings. So we have to go check out their channel to see if they accomplished a British day for us Americans. Uh, Jeremy did roll his ankle. That's why he's not here with us today. This is my first time being out and about in the UK by myself like this. It is good that I have you guys here with me to show me around. Or you could just pretend we're not and you're literally on your own. Oh, uh, that sounds <laughs> less fun. <laughs> Jason was just saying that down there, you can see the funicular cars down there even still. Uh, this is a funicular that is clearly out of service now, but I guess they've gotten the money and the financing and the approval to restore this to its former glory. Something to look forward to in the future. Definitely, because the walk up the hill is not the one. <laughs> <laughs> this would definitely help. This is just a lovely cliff top stroll up here, isn't it? Jason just pointed out um, there's this I don't know, kind of big open communal area. Uh -huh. You were saying that it's uh, like a theater down? There's a theater underneath, yeah. Oh, okay. It has some gorgeous views from here though, including a mermaid thing? A mermaid tail. <laughs> a jetty that's a mermaid tail. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, very cool. I think we're gonna head down that way ourselves pretty soon. Is that what we're taking, the zigzag path? I understand <laughs> why this is the zigzag path. We've been on a lot of paths, but I don't think there's a path quite like this that this I've been on path. here. You haven't seen the best of it yet, either. It gets oh, better the further down we it go. gets better? Yeah. All right. It almost looks like you're going to like Zion or something. Like it looks yeah, like a national yeah. park in the US. Yeah, yeah. That's further on the way up though. We just came around the corner and this section has a little, like a, a tiny tunnel to walk through with a tree built on top of it even. I don't think they built the I, tree. I, yeah, you're, <laughs> fair, fair. This path has everything. It's got tunnels, it's got caves, it's got plenty of benches for when you get tired and you need to take a breath. Oh my gosh, there's another tunnel down there. Look, there's two, there's, there's two tunnels. There's a tunnel, there's a tunnel, there's a cave. 10 out of 10 on the zigzag path, 10 out of 10. <laughs> and now you're seeing why we like Folkestone so much because it's a cool place just to come for like an evening walk or something and there's stuff to see and it's just quirky. It's yeah. It's not just a straight path along the ocean. Yes, this one is even more intense. I hope there's not any bears in here. This one has like a tunnel into a cave. <laughs> Whoa, look at this rock formation. Yeah, this is really neat. Someone made this. Do you know, it is so satisfying to see an American come here where you have so many national parks and like all these wonderful natural rock formations and be so excited by this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it is exciting though. It is a very, a very neat rock in my defense. <laughs> now we're getting to the good stuff. 
Where are we going now? The Lower Lees Coastal Park. Okay. Oh. This is the coolest park I've ever seen for children. There's a big fort. There's even a zip line and it's all just free. Yep. Like kids can just come and play here. This would have been the best place to come <laughs> as a kid. If you have kids, you have to bring them here. It's so neat. I just love how everything feels so tropical too. We're going further and further down. I don't feel like we walked this far up in the first place. The beach huts look like a bubblegum wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jason, you were just saying that you have your eye on one of these. Yeah, uh, that one there on the corner would be nice. So that yeah. I can see both directions. So um, if anybody wants to gift me one, <laughs> I definitely can't afford one. <laughs> these are a really neat building that they're building. But I also just really like this like classic, classic seaside, you know, like Georgian circular building. Like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll have the one on the end and then we can wave to each other from our balconies. How's <laughs> that? Yeah. <laughs> right next to something really cool and modern. We've made our way back down the shoreline boardwalk, back to where we started. And the thing I'm noticing down over here is a lot of people have their dogs with them. And I'm a little bit sad that Carly's not with us today. But it does make me so grateful that we've had her here in the UK with us because I love how dog friendly everything has been here. Someone captured the look of a seagull about to steal your food so perfectly. I feel like that's like what their eyes look like when they're like, <laughs> you still eating that? Just kidding, I've never had that happen to me. Yet. <laughs> We've come down here to the marina arm. It's just so beautiful. The water here is so pretty. On a nice sunny day like today, I think this sign on the lighthouse that says weather is a third to the place in time. I don't know. Weather is kind of important on a seaside day. Wouldn't you agree? I love that you can even see the white chalk cliffs down there, even though it is a little bit hazy today. From one zigzag path to another, I love how this whole area with all the, the food spots and all the containers is full of like those pedestrian paths, but they're all zigzag. Everything here smells so good that I'm having a hard choice choosing what I wanted. You ended up choosing a pork place. Pork and co, yeah. yeah. It's always yeah. our go-to place. It is. They used to have some permanent locations in Kent, but they don't have them anymore, so we always get it when we come here. It looks really good. I opted for Thai food. <laughs> it's not the Greek we thought you were going for. But. <laughs> yeah, I initially thought I was going to have Greek food, but the Thai food place, just the food looked so good. So I got a green curry. This is so good. You know, we've had Thai food a few times in the UK. This is by far my favorite. Excellent. How is your food? Really good. It's very messy. It's the first time I've had the meaty chips from there and I'll be having it again. It's just a lovely area to sit and have a meal. What an amazing day that we have had here today in Folkestone. Thank you so much for coming along with us. Sadly, this is the end of our UK trip for now. We are going to be going to more of Europe, so stay tuned. We will have plenty to show you, places we've never been before. Make sure you go check out Jason and Josh's channel. They took us to a very British day in Hastings, so you'll have to see what we got up to on our very British seaside day. Thank you to our patrons for always supporting our channel. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you soon. And for dessert, we all got the brown shaken not espresso. No. <laughs> it's not Starbucks. <laughs> we got boba, the brown sugar boba. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you for showing me around today. No problem. You're welcome. <laughs>